I've really been enjoying the analog pocket. I mean, I've had mine since last December and there's been a little period of time where I kind of forgot about it and wasn't using it as much. But when we finally got that version 1.1 beta update for the system that gave us access to open FPGA, my interest like grew again. Like I was excited for this thing and I haven't put it down since we started getting all these cores. Now there's access to a bunch of stuff with open FPGA. We could sideload games for Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, everything that's already supported on there without having to have the cartridges. Plus even more, we have arcade cores, Galaga, Dig Dug. We have Neo Geo on here, NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Master System. There is a lot of stuff and the list is continually growing. We recently did a video setting up NES on the Analog Pocket and that was a fairly straightforward thing to do, but if you go through and download each and every one of these cores and then try to keep up to date on them, it can be a little tedious. So forget all that noise. We have a, a better solution, a one shot, boom, you are set up and pretty much ready to go. All your BIOS files you need for stuff like Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, the, the, the ROMs for the arcade stuff, ready to go, right? Your whole, all the files just boom, loaded up, all the cores downloaded all at once. So we're gonna run through this real quick. Now I'm gonna put down in the uh, description links to everything I'm looking at here, including this page. This is a good reference to see, you know, what cores are available, what has been released, and it, it continually gets updated as more cores release. But this is not what we're gonna be focusing on. We're gonna be looking at this GitHub from Matt Panea, or Panella, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, excuse me, my apologies, but thanks for doing this for us because this is awesome. Now I've used this pocket core auto update in the past, like when it first came out, and I kind of had a little bit of hassles with it, had to run it multiple times and things would be missing, but there's been a few releases since the last time I personally used it that has like really made it streamlined and just easy to do. And it auto like downloads those certain things that I mentioned there uh, and bug fixes and whatnot. You could read through all the uh, the updates, what everything has been, you know, what's been added, right? But let's just go through this real quick. So I'm using a Windows PC. I'm going to download the Windows version. Let's go ahead and get that going, save it to my desktop. And then we're just going to go straight to the desktop. There she is. Let's go ahead and unzip it. All right, so there is the unzipped file that we need, the executable pocket updater. Exe. So next we're going to need to have our SD card, our micro SD card we're going to use for the analog pocket plugged into our computer. So I'll just go ahead and get that opened up. SDHCF is on my computer. That's the micro SD card I'm going to use for this video to set this up. Simply we're going to grab that pocket updater.exe, put it on the root of the micro SD card. Should just take a second. And then we're just going to instantly run it. Let's go ahead, let's go. Version 2.1, now this is gonna download everything that you need, including the, the latest beta firmware from Analog themselves. So it's gonna set up your micro SD card. You have to understand to use OpenFPGA and all these cores, you have to have your Analog Pocket updated to the latest firmware, the latest official firmware. And this will grab that and put it on the micro SD card in case you need it. Now, if you don't need it and you've already updated, that's fine but it's gonna be there just in case, really making things simple for you. And as you see, it's running through everything. Download Neo Geo, uh, downloading Super Breakout, like different uh, arcade releases, getting the ROM, the core, all that stuff. The Unibios for Neo Geo, all the little, like, cause Neo Geo, you needed like three different files for, for the BIOS for, the, for it to even run. This just auto grabs it. The BIOS files for like Game Boy Color, it grabs it. Not a lot you need to do other than add your games beside like the arcade stuff is fine, but I'll show you real quick once this is done. As you see, it's populating my SD card as, as uh, it's running. This only takes like a minute or two. And then as time goes on, if you go to that, that library of core releases and you see, oh, there's been a new update on this. Oh, there, I, it's been a few weeks and there's a bunch of new stuff or certain things have been updated. You could just run the updater again on your micro SD card and you're good. It's just gonna grab the, the latest versions of everything. It's not gonna like get rid of your, your card. It's not gonna rewrite everything. It's just gonna grab the new, new versions and you'll be good to go. 
But as you see, the executable here says, now it's done. So we are good. Let's go ahead and get out of there. So we got the MRAs for a bunch of stuff. Some readme text files, which I think just normally come with the cores and they tell you where to put um, the BIOS files and all that. Like Game Boy Color BIOS files and the common assets common for Game Boy Color. Normally you would have to go grab that and put it in here, but it's already there. Making it easy, right? Let me see, Neo Geo. There we go. You got these three files, like you had the source, these three files to play Neo Geo, but they are there, so you don't have to worry about it. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Now, okay, just as a quick example, if you want to add your ROMs to any of these systems, like NES, for example, we're going to go from the root of the card, we're going to go to assets, NES, and then common, and then just put your ROMs right there. So let me just throw a few up there. And see how that goes. Just gonna grab one folder. Don't want this to take a year. Just a quick little tip, just the tip. I cannot directly link you to games, but the Internet Archive is your friend. If you know what you're looking for, you will find what you need, including those Neo Geo packs for the analog pocket. Let's get back to it just to see if it actually populates. This is a small micro SD card that I'm using for this video. Uh, normally I have a 256 gigabyte that I have like a bunch of stuff loaded on, complete Neo Geo library and whatnot. So kind of the bigger, the better, especially with more and more cores coming out. You really don't want a bunch of different micro SD cards set up, but just for demonstration purposes, we're just using this little one today. Um, do I have anything else to throw on here? Game Boy Advance, let's go ahead and uh, Get Game Boy Advance. So there's the BIOS right there. Noise. And just throw that in there as well. That's a almost two gig file. So that's going to take a second. But I'm going to let those load up. I'm not doing anything else to this micro SD card. Once that's done, I'm going to eject it from my PC, pop it into the analog pocket, and then we're going to see what happens. So we'll be right back with that. Okay, here we go. Let's check out OpenFPGA and see what we got. So, I mean, a bunch of cores got downloaded. Ardu Boy, Asteroids, Dig Dug, Dominoes. What is that? Uh, okay, the Atari Dominoes. Interesting. Galaga, and then all of our handheld cores. You just put your ROMs in there and get going. Don't need the cartridges. Green Beret, that's a Russian attack, right? Yep. Sweet. We'll check some of these out in a second. Lunar Lander, Neo Geo, NES, Pong. Space Race, Super Breakout, Tecmo. Who we got in there? Oh, Rygar, Silkworm, Gemini Wing. Interesting. Oops. All right, let's, uh, let's check a couple things out. I mean, let's start with Asteroids real quick. Uh, this had, like... Okay. I, like, was like, wait a minute. Didn't you have to have, like, an accelerate button? But first button I pressed was accelerate. Where am I? Dude, that's that's awesome. I haven't played Asteroids in a long time, but back in the day, man. Back in the day, every arcade had had Asteroids. I Destroyed. And all this uh, scrambling stuff, if you're not familiar with arcade games, I mean, this is essentially what would happen when the machine was booted up for the first time, ready to be the whore that it is and taking everybody's quarters. So, you know, that's how it's going to be with most of these cores, I would imagine. Um, that's dope, dude. As soon as you, you know, load the core, it's going to go through like the arcade machine is powering on for the first time. Oh, man. The sound is good. Oh, no, right in my ass. All right. We're just testing. We're just testing. We're not, we're not here to, to show off our skills, you know? Just a little test. Galaga, one of my all-time favorite games, man. Just simple. Get into it. Shoot some aliens, right? And same thing with the uh, scrambled weirdness. This is awesome. And there's there's like a lot of talk of a bunch of other arcade cores coming. I heard somebody mention something about possibility of uh, CPS-1. Have to wait and see on that. That would be pretty awesome. But okay. Sweet. 
Green Beret. I remember playing this one um, more so on the NES. Like, I don't really ever remember seeing this in the arcade. But I, I'm pretty sure I had it on, on Nintendo. Rescue the prisoners of war. Let's go. Let's get them guys. Yeah, this, yeah, I remember this in the NES game, but I think it was a little different. I don't remember the, the prisoner thing. It was something like about a special weapon or secret weapon. I, I don't know. Dude, this is, this is badass, man. Oh, no. Oh, flamethrower, dude. Did you see their skeleton? Oh, I, I used it up. You see their skeleton? Oh, sh all right. Let me see. I, I threw those NES ROMs on here where I showed you guys just to show you that they run. That's all I selected. Hey, you know what? <laughs> That's all I put was the uh, R through like S's or whatever. Let's find Russian attack. Yeah, that's the that's the this is the one I remember is the one for the NES. I mean, same game, right? But a little a little different, I think. Your mission: destroy the enemy's secret. There you go. I knew it had something to do with like a secret weapon. <laughs> destroy it. We're not saving the prisoners of war in this one, but you said <laughs> essentially the same game. I don't know if there's any major differences, but I mean, it starts out the same stage that is cool man so there you go i hope this video was of help to to some of you guys out there getting you set up on your analog pocket getting all these games ready to go i uh, hope a little tip helped you as well getting everything else going but all the arcade stuff should just download keep keep tabs on that auto updater in case new stuff comes around oh those were like yeah i just walked right into that that's what happens when you're talking and and uh and playing at the same time. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye.